What is up my dudes and welcome back to the channel. Today I have the LA7B20 rank 4 battle rating 5.0 Russian mid -al mid altitude fighter, excuse me. Um what can I say about this plane besides that it's fucking amazing in every way imaginable except above 15,000 feet, 5,000 meters. Then it starts to struggle a lot. But anything below I'd say about 10,000 feet um in a down tier especially since this thing is ranked so low in the battle rating charts and i don't even know how this thing could survive easily at 5.7 it really could but in a down tier man you're king of the skies in this thing even up to about a slight up tier maybe you might struggle a little bit at 6.0 but um what this plane is just ridiculous um excellent acceleration climb rate the cannons are out of this world b20 s's and you get three of them too you get three of these things as opposed to la7 and all the la5s that get two and these things also fire faster than sh than the shivax i think they get the same belts though mostly so yeah same belts as the shivax but uh faster velocity faster fire rate and this plane is just awesome, man. It It's... Maneuver fighting is awesome. Energy fighting, you're gonna do pretty well in. It does redline at about 430 miles an hour, so... Keep that in mind when you're diving on people and you'll be okay. Um, catch people in maneuver fights, too. You're gonna do wonders in this plane to the enemy team. But I don't really know what else to say about this plane other than let's just get right to it. Do it. Alright, we're here on Hurtgen in what I believe is a full down tier. Yeah, I believe so. Um, enemy's still pretty far away, but I just wanted to take a minute to talk about this plane a little bit more. Um, it's always been a really good performing aircraft as long as I've played this game. And I started playing this game in 2013 summer 2013 so this plane's been around a while and for it to not have been power crept i think is absolutely just speaks to just how powerful this plane is and uh i'm gonna have said all that and die immediately probably but you know what that's just uh the way the road goes sometimes Got an XP-50 about 5 miles out, same altitude, it looks like a BV-238 right there, and maybe a B-17 or an ME-264. And then there's also something, yep, BV-238, BF-109, there's two bombers here, 4 engine, another XP-50, T-18B, went head on with the XP-50, I'm going to assist. The bombers are going to have to wait. Oh, he's luring him closer to the enemy team. Yeah, I don't think that's going to play out. I want that B-17. I do. I want that B-17 really badly. I'm going to try it. you got to watch that 109 and that 190, but I'm going to try it. Another XP-50. I'm gonna have one pass at this. It's already shooting at me. Alright, B-17's down. BF-109, two miles out. XP-50, three miles, and... Gaining. Okay, he turned around. That 109 is still behind me. But... I'm gonna lure him into a false sense of security, gonna try and bait him down, assuming I can dodge his initial pass. He's shadowing me alright, that's for damn sure. ME-264 and a BB-238 just flying clean through to the bases. Nope. Yep, there's that 109 again. ME-264 is down. 109 is still shadowing me. I don't have whip at this altitude, so I'm just gonna have to deal with it. A7M is on fire and dead. BV-238 shot him down. That BV-238 put that fire out. He is free range A2M, taking a pass at him. 
doing nothing. That 109 is still shadowing me. Those yaks shadowing him. BB-238 looks like he's losing power. Typhoon taking a pass at him now. BB-238 messing up that Typhoon. BB-238 put that fire out as well. Couple hits, nothing major. More oil tank damage. Those BB-238s can always take some serious punishment. There he goes, sawed his tail off. 87 rounds left, 190 coming in. Gonna give him some bullets. Up, oh, combat flaps. Let's bring him back around. Look at that, already on his tail, throwing him into the defensive already. Got 54 rounds of ammo, gotta make them count. Ah! That's what happens when you get kill hungry. Well, I'm out of ammo. Elevator damage. Don't know where that other guy went. I'm out of ammo. I got RTB. So that typhoon that was. Probably. Oh well. <sighs> Unfortunate. Still plenty of people left though, so that's nice. Alright, we're here on Moscow and another fold down tier. Unfortunately, last match um, just kind of ended up running down the time. Uh, ended up getting a kill assist on that 190 though, so that's pretty cool. We got ourselves some kind of foreign and bomber that I won't be able to intercept right there. He's turning. Um, probably just an ME264. It is um, Germany, Japan. Britain, Sweden. Yeah, probably an M264 if I had to guess. BF109. Hello. I'm near. Yep, M264. I was correct. Alright, we are at 12,000 feet. Wep no longer works. So we're just going to fly into the combat zone. Plenty of enemies on the other team to uh, shoot down. Doe 335 traded with my squad mate, BTD. I'd say that's a pretty fair trade. Do a 335 for BTD, I would, I would say that's good. Tall 154. That could be a problem in a head on if I'm not careful. I'm gonna have to be quite careful if he wants to go head on with me. No, I don't think that's gonna happen. BF109. Um, I'll probably stay up here a little bit just for now. Typhoon. Oh, that's a link. Don't go to that link. It's probably some spyware or something. A6M5 down low, tall 154. That's that typhoon again. There's a 109 somewhere over there. J26 shut down by the SU8. If for you. A lot of my team is down low, a lot of their team is up high. And that's no bueno. I'm gonna challenge this typhoon even though there's a 109 right there. And another 109 to back him up. Is that 109 diving? What is he doing? Oh no, I just got myself into a very precarious situation. Set him on fire. I got a 109 on my butt. You got many 109s on my butt. I'm just gonna dive away. That's all I can do, really. Just lure them to lower altitudes where I'm superior.
Just like that. There they go, make sure I'm clear, A6, M5. Alright, I do not want to dogfight 3109s by myself, but... My team seems to have fallen apart. I may not have a choice here. There's one for sure. Okay, I can handle one 109. Is that 109F again. He messed up. I probably messed up, actually. Landing flaps. Yep, I messed up. <sighs> I thought that G went from someone else, and I paid the price for that. Oh well. Alright, we're here on Malta. I have not finished my initial climb, where it has been revealed that... Yeah, a third of the team is heavy bombers on the enemy team. Not that I'm complaining, but um, that's about a third of the team that I probably won't have much of a chance at uh, being able to do anything about, seeing as this thing doesn't really do too well above Attack about 15,000 feet like I stated in the beginning of this video. Got ourselves an A26 and a couple of B17 spotted so far. Um... Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to do anything about any of them. Got some zeros, A7M, and a J2M spotted at A26. Is this going to wind up doing his own thing? Because I'm not really too interested in stopping him. There's a... Hello? Okay. I mean, I'll take a B17. A stricken B17? Why the hell not? Critted him. Uh, I won't do too much more to him. A6M5. Two miles out. Kill assist, I'll take it. Damn it, I fucked that up. I don't know how I messed that up, but I did. Don't know what he thought he was doing. Alright. I don't care to fight zeros in a turn fight. I got a Corsair and a 190 that are super low down here. Easy kills, so why the hell not? I'm just going to continue on to this 190 right here. Shot his elevator clean off. I'm going to give him one more pass. There goes his wing. Alright. A6M5, that Corsair is down pretty much. I don't know how that guy's not out yet. Ooh, that was dicey, man. Alright. Kill assist on him, I'll take that. A6M5 and a J2M, they just tore up whatever was left down here. Alright, I have no ammo anymore, I got RTB. Oh god. That was close. Alright, J2M is occupied with that 190. I feel really shitty running away, but I have no ammo. Can't help. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the best he's gonna get from me. Alright. Three kills though, I will take that. Alright my dudes, that's going to be it for today's video. Unfortunately, um, time ran out on the third battle again, not too much happened. Malta is a pretty small map, but the bombers just camped up in space, so 
what are you gonna do about it but you know didn't get too many kills this video but i hope that i was still able to showcase just how powerful this plane can actually be even what seven no like nine years down the road because i started in 2013 that's crazy to think about holy crap i'm old man <laughs> but yeah the la7 still a very beastly airplane to fight and fight against man um if you haven't flown it i highly recommend that you do if you for whatever reason haven't i mean i guess you could skip it I don't see why you would, it's awesome, but uh, yeah, definitely give it a chance if you haven't. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be it for today's video, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and until next time, peace out.